This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, buddy! And guess. Oh boy, welcome back everybody to Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney Investigations, Prosecutor's Path. Oh man, we are, are, are finally on the final case of the game. Episode 1, Turnabout Target, we had a no, uh, fake oh, yeah. presidential assassination attempt on the president, but yep. some butt security guard, Horace Knightley, murdered the other security yep. guard out of petty jealousy. In prison turnabout, uh, everyone thought that wimp guy killed his friend Horace Knightley, but it turns out like it was actually Dogan. Like... Actually, no, it turns out it was actually the warden. <laughs> Uh, inherited turnabout, IS-7 incident, guy died because he wanted to win British Bake Off, this guy killed him because he wanted to win British Bake Off, and yeah, a lot of stuff happened there. That's the easiest way to sum up that case. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then forgot to turn about Kay Lost Her Memories, Black Market Auction, blah blah blah, we were just doing that so they, people they probably remember it. every single one of our cases Nobody starts this. Well, case you'd five. be surprised, people are stupid. Also, yes, they YouTube are. Uh, recommendations are stupid, where it's like, you mean I can watch this episode of Phoenix Wright? Nobody oh. starts with this story based game. Nobody starts with episode like 50 something. Anyways. Anyways, grand turnabout. I've been so looking forward to this. My favorite case of the game. One of my favorites of the series. Okay. You are not ready for what the opening movie is going All to right. show. All right. All right. I, I don't even know. Three, two, one, go. It's the PIC meeting room. Godzilla attacks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it kind of looks like it, actually. Jurassic Park. That'd be cool. <laughs> Was I right? <laughs> It'll just be projections or something. Look at this punk kid. Ooh, look at- it's Satan himself. <laughs> yep, Godzilla's attacking now. <laughs> I don't think it's Godzilla, I think it's like the bigger version of that bull stuffed animal. So I'll just say, the English name for this case is The Grand Turnabout. The Japanese ver uh, case translates to The Turnabout Monster. That's a better name for it. <laughs> but it's the grand finale. Also, this case literally takes place directly the after, after the last one. It's April 6, 10.02 a.m. outside the Grand Tower Plaza. Tower Plaza. So, what are y'all gonna do now? I reckon you threw being a prosecutor, right? Yes, that's true, I suppose. I'm no longer a prosecutor. However, do we have all of our evidence? No. No. <laughs> we only need the ones we need. Okay. You can't stop thinking about what Mr. DeKiller said, right? Indeed. Mr. I congratulate you on resolving the case. However, can you truly say in good conscience that it has been solved? This case isn't over yet. The person in the red hood who kidnapped Kay at Gord Lake and this letter from an unknown sender. Maybe that kid, that punk, is the killer's son. You think so? Ooh, could be. Someone's schemes are at work behind this case. It must be tough having a case you just saw still nagging at the back of your mind. Well, I got some investigating of my own to be doing, so I'll be off. That's amazing! You've already decided on your next scoop? What are you saying there, Missy? Don't you be underestimating the likes of a lot of heart. I've covered a lot of scoops, you know? I always have an extra scoop or two up my sleeves. This is you. Someone help! Yikes, what's that? Oh, it's Penny. Someone, and please help! Hmm? This woman is... What's happened? Somebody's dead. A monster. A monster? It's a scoop! A scoop's calling me! Please follow me. It's this way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her run. Vada's run is the best run animation her by run far. Her run looks like Goofy. <laughs> oh, yuck. Oh, yuck. <laughs> Has something else happened? Again? I don't know. At any rate, we should follow her for now. Thank God Penny's back. I thought she was just there for, like, no reason. April 6th, 10.05 oh, a.m. Oh, wait! We oh, saw that kid last case. I forgot. We also saw him in the third case. 
He was just hanging out in the museum area, in the same yeah, room that right. Ron you're and Desiree right. were. Ten of five outside the Grand Tower in the temporary film lot. Kiwata's taking photos of, um, nothing. Ah, uh, these are... Jiwan hoof prints! Hoof prints? Impossible! No animal could be this large! Mr. Edgeworth, look! Oh no! Agent Lane! Why is he here? Ah, uh, someone's on the ground! It can't be! The president himself? The president of Zane Fa! Dishun Huan! Why is he covered in mustard? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the monster stepped on him and was like, ooh, this, this will be nice later. <laughs> it's like a hot dog. You can wrap him up in a bun. Well, but Lane's finally back after literally being in this game for two seconds. Yeah. Agent Lane! Mr. Prosecutor, didn't take you long to get here. What happened? What happened? Ha! That's what I'd like to know! It would seem that he's in a considerable amount of shock over the president's death. However, what exactly are these giant footprints? And what could have happened to the president? Oh, they must have killed him while he was in his inflatable state. <laughs> <laughs> you know how he didn't have the real muscles? Yeah. He was like fat. Yep. They must have killed him like that. It's a m m monster! Uh, monster? Yes, sir! Look at here! Ain't no doubt about it! These are clearly the footprints of a monster! On this day, mankind received grim reminder. We live in the fear of the mighty Mozilla. Mighty Mozilla. This here's a scoop. I got myself a scoop. Man trampled to death by a monster. I reckon it'd be the top story in tomorrow's paper. What nonsense. There are no such things as monsters. Wait, it can't be. I am Dijun Huan. I have heard of your deeds. You saved my country from a great crisis. The real assassin was you all along. That is correct. I received a request from a key individual. To take the president's life. That man, could he have... Hey you! Were you the first to discover the body? Y yes I... um, well... Agent Lane? Lane Z says, First come, first suspected. I like his scroll. You, did you really just discover the body? Uh, uh, of course. Please calm down. You're scaring her. He does seem to have lost his composure. Tch, calm down? How am I supposed to calm down? Do you know who's been murdered? Dijun Huan, the president of Zane Fa. Agent Lane, this isn't like you. When we first met, you had an army of subordinates under your command. And you boasted of having the highest arrest rate in Interpol. And what now? Did you forget the fundamentals of investigation along with all your men? What did you say? Instead of questioning people at random, you should investigate the crime scene first. Am I wrong? Tch! <laughs> I don't need you to tell me that. I'll do a thorough investigation. Well, at least it seems he's calmed down for now. Mr. Edgeworth, let's investigate too! Yes, let us investigate. Right now, I do not have any investigation rights. But until the police arrive... What are y'all saying? I ain't an obvious who done it. The man behind it all is the mighty Movezilla. Hmm? Well, I guess it ain't the man behind it, more like the monster behind it, you know? Good grief. Could you please just try not to interfere with the investigation? Shut your trap! You're the one who better not be sticking your nose in my business! I ain't forgiven you if you all miss my up by scoop! Um, excuse me. Hmm? It's the woman who first discovered the body. I feel like I've seen her before. She's a lot longer hair than the last time I met her. You're... Mr. Edgeworth, right? Do you remember me? Hmm? Y yes that case from before. I think she has the exact same length hair. The I thought she had it in pigtails. In or not pigtails, uh, two braids instead of one long Rapunzel braid. I think. No, yeah, she, she I think she did have at least like one side tail in the first kit. the first I thought game. she had two. That's what I was saying. One or two. 
I think it's basically the same. Let me look at profiles. I bet we don't have her yet, because we haven't- yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm He's, 58. He looks like a reject boss from Jung Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. You mentioned that last time. Well, he still does. <laughs> huh? Do you know her? Yes, I do. At least I think I do. My name's Kay Faraday. I'm Mr. Edgeworth's assistant. My, you have a, such a cute assistant? I'm Penny Nichols. I am an assistant at the Global Studios. I'm in charge of the props and sets. It's nice to meet you. Yes, that was it. I once handled a case that occurred oh! during the filming of the Steel Samurai. No, you know what? She looks exactly the same. I thought this was all her hair. Oh, no. Because <laughs> the text was covering up so much. That yeah. makes way more sense. This woman was a member of the show's staff, and she was involved in the incident. Not oh, really. Oh, it's probably not Penny, then. I must have met with her on numerous occasions over the course of the case. But to be honest, I had completely forgotten about her. <laughs> the developer of the game is like, you know you're a real Ace Attorney fan if you remember Penny Nichols. I remember Penny Nichols. She, she's obsessed with Pokemon. <laughs> it's nice to see you again. Or whatever. The fact that you are here must mean that this place is... Yes. This is sort of an outdoor film lot for Global Studios. They're shooting a movie here right now. I was the first to arrive today to set up everything for the filming. But everything seemed strange. Those giant footprints and that d dead body. I see. We shall examine the body. At any rate, could you please contact the police? Y yes, right away. I'll have to take the time to listen to her story later. First, let's examine the scene. There are many things besides the body that concern me. I'll need to examine every nook and cranny of this place. Yep. Begin investigation of blah 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 blah. Dude, 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 we should talk to Kay. Oh yeah. Yeah, what's up? I still can't believe the president has been murdered. Do you think he was really trampled to death by a monster? Surely you can't be serious. There are no such things as monsters. What? So it wasn't a monster who did this? Then, who do you say killed the president? As the president of Zane Fa, I'm sure there are more than a few people targeting his life. Just like Shelley DeKiller tried to do not too long ago. So, you think he was killed by someone like Mr. DeKiller? I can't say for certain yet, but neither can I deny that possibility. But we can't deny the possibility of him being killed by a monster either. I mean, just take a look at all these monster footprints. Plus, a horn-like object was lying on the ground next to the president. A horn-like object? I can't say for certain that it's not related to this case. Perhaps I should take a moment and compare it with the evidence I have on hand. I never would have thought we'd run into Mr. Lang in a place like this! But he didn't seem to be in a good mood today. It's understandable. Agent Lane is from the Republic of Zane Fa. With President Juan's death, he must have been, had a lot on his mind. Come to think of it, he doesn't have his men in black in tow with him today, either. I always pictured him with, like, an army of subordinates following him around. Agent Lane, I wonder if something has happened to him. <laughs> Miss Nichols, where does this entrance lead to? It's connected to the Grand Tower lot. Does this case also have something to do with that building? The building with a secret 51st floor where a black market auction was being held. It wouldn't be strange if it were still hiding a few more secrets. Grand Tower data jotted down in the organizer. Hmm? This lock and chain? Ah! Someone cut through the chain! What? I'm sure it was locked up properly yesterday, though. Then, it's possible the culprit forced his way in through here. What? What is it? It's completely dented in. How did this happen? Hmm? There is indeed a huge dent in the fence over there. Something rather heavy must have struck it in order to make a dent like that. It wasn't like that at all yesterday. It wasn't? So this dent was made here last night. She looks like she's totally spaced out. Oh, we can't Penny. examine it? Penny's just like, Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, I don't know what's happening. This leads to the Grand Tower. But 
from where I'm standing, all I can see are just your everyday run-of-the-mill buildings. <laughs> I don't see anyone special around here either. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Indeed. At least from where we're standing, that is. That's great. <laughs> Now then, we have no time to waste. We should get back to investigating the film lot. I feel like, given how much Phoenix Wright's chasing after Edgeworth, he would like look down and be like, Edgeworth! There is a giant fence in the way. There's a giant rock in the way. Uh, the... Ah, it's one of those sheets you lay out on the floor when you're having a picnic. It's definitely a vinyl sheet. However, I don't think it's for picnics. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, I if I may. That's actually a waterproof sheet. It's used with the camera crane over there. We'll cover the camera crane with it when it's raining. Then this sheet must be pretty big. Yes, it would be pointless if we didn't cover up the entire crane. The weather was overcast yesterday, so we've been using quite a bit. Oh, now, of... now we have prior. Yeah, now we do. Yeah, Eddie she looks Nichols exactly the same. 20. She's doing well in her career. <laughs> yeah, she is. Hey, Lada. What do you want? I'm a busy gal! You better not get in my way! Why are you so obsessed with that monster? Such a thing couldn't possibly exist. What'd you say? I ain't letting that pass. Mozilla lit! I'm certain of it! It's the mightiest monster on this side of the Pacific Rim! I don't suppose you have some kind of basis for that. I saw it with my own two eyes. What? You saw it? No way! Yeah, way! The mighty Muzilla was really here! Last night, when I was on the 51st floor of the Grand Tower? You mean when you were snooping around the black market auction? That's right! It was right around when I took this here photo! So not last night, it would be like two nights ago. That's the photo of the person in the red hood! This was Jill Crane, right? You see those blinds next to the red hood? Well, the mighty Muzilla was on the other side! Uh, but there's nothing in the photo. It's mighty hard to capture something like that from such a distance. But I've seen it play as day. Moosezilla's giant eye was peering in through the blinds. The monster was peering in? Looky here. Now ain't this the time for this? I gotta gather my materials. Y'all are in my way. Now get on. Get. Shoot. Shoot. How absurd. Mr. Edgeworth, you must be completely dumbfounded right now, aren't you? Hmph. <laughs> was it that clearly written on my face? Snappity, snappity. Yeah. It's stepladder. This seems to be the lighting equipment they're using for the film. Ah, oh, that's right. There's something I wanted to ask you, Mr. Edgeworth. When I'm stealing something, can you use this to make me look cool in the spotlight? You want someone to shine a light on you when you're stealing something? Well, duh! If the Yadakarasu's handiwork can't be seen because it's too dark, wouldn't you feel bad for the people watching? You're planning to steal things with an audience looking on? Yeah. <sighs> oh, we can't even examine it. Mm. That's the joke. There is a monster costume in front of this building. Mr. Edgeworth, is that really a costume? Maybe it's actually the monster who made all these footprints and it's just shrunk itself down. I'll say this one more time, so listen carefully. There is a monster costume in front of this building. It's just a costume. Uh, do, 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 do. There is a, a that I was absolutely not looking at the monster costume there. Hey, Penny. Hey, girl. I'm sorry about earlier. I was a little flustered. Were you here alone? Yes. I arrived before everyone else today in order to get things prepared. When I entered the lot, I immediately noticed those giant hoof prints. The monster's footprints, right? Weren't you surprised? Yes, because they hadn't been there yesterday evening. So that means the footprints were made last night. Well, when I first saw them, I thought they were a part of the set. But when I got closer to the studio, I saw that a person had collapsed. You didn't notice until you got closer. Lately, it seems my eyesight's gotten worse again, and my glasses aren't strong enough. Ooh! I can relate. <laughs> Completely, Penny. As I approached the body, I finally realized what it was. I was so scared, I ran away. And that was when she ran into us. We're filming a movie. 
You said they were filming a movie. Could it be the Steel Samurai? <laughs> no. So it wasn't. We're making a monster movie this time around. Have you ever heard of the Mighty Mozilla series? I'm sorry, but no. Mr. Edgeworth isn't interested in anything other than the Steel Samurai, after all. Th that's not... <laughs> I guess that's to be expected, as the promotion for the film hasn't really started yet. The Mighty Mozilla. Its revival breaks its 12 years of silence. It's the long-awaited sequel to the original series, so the staff are all fired up. The film is set at the Grand Tower, so we're filming on location around this area. Come to think of it, yesterday... What's wrong, pal? Did something happen at the Grand Tower? Cut! Cut, 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 cut! Excuse me, we're sort of in the middle of shooting a movie, and, um... I saw them filming something, then. It must have been this. I bet it ends with Mozilla completely destroying the Grand Tower. <laughs> I wonder. You'll have to look forward to finding out in the theaters. If you'd like, you can have this. Hmm, let's see. The Battle of the Century! Now it meets its greatest rival, Mighty Mozilla versus Gordy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, so Lotta Hart really has a scoop, because she also loves Gord. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so here's the thing that I've been thinking about for the past however long I've seen this for. Um, I think that the president of Zhang Fa must have, like, helped fund this movie. Because he has, like, I think he has the promotional doll. And I think that's what oh. that was. Because it looks exactly the same with the bowl thing. Interesting. Wait. Wait, Gordy? This time, it won't just be Mozilla. A rival monster appears as well. Have you heard of it? Gordy of Gord Lake? <gasps> Wasn't that the talk of the town two or three years ago? It's a mysterious monster living in Gord Lake. By chance, someone took a photo of it. It wasn't just the talk of the town, it was also involved in a case for my past. Gordy, huh. Now there's a name I don't really want to remember. When the director caught wind of that rumor, he decided to add it into the story. I get the feeling he was a bit late to catch oh on. Oh my gosh, are we gonna see the director again? So manila, so manila. <laughs> Please look forward to seeing the showdown between these two rival monsters. Monster movie flyer data jotted down in the organizer. <sighs> I should confirm what the security situation was like at the scene of the crime. Miss Nichols, was the entrance to this place locked? Yes, it's locked with this. A bicycle One of those types where you have to put the correct numbers to open it, right? About this combination lock, was it also properly locked today? Yes, when I arrived here today it was locked tight. Who knows the combination? The producer, the director, the staff, and the actors. I think everyone involved in the movie knew about it. So anyone involved with the film could have opened the combination lock and got in. In, in reality, D. Vasquez is still the director. <laughs> she the was the producer. producer. <laughs> Magic school bus producer speaking. Yep. Hey, Lane. Mr. Prosecutor, so we meet again. What is this music? It's the sad reminiscence of <laughs> remix of his theme. Bambina. That's the first thing I think of. It does sound kind of western. Indeed. Just a few days ago, we met at the detention center. Either that or I'm waiting for Nasty Jack to show up. <laughs> Agent Lane, what brings you here? Just some boring work. Nothing you need to know about. Eat free, live free in prison. Yep. <laughs> you always pick the worst time to show up. Anyone ever tell you that bad things happen when you're around? Just don't get in the way of my investigation, okay? I must avenge the death of our president. You arrived here before us. What were you doing in a place like this? You suspect me? Heh. <laughs> Come now. I heard a scream. It was the woman who found the body. After hearing the scream, I came in through that entrance over there. Apparently, it wasn't locked. Then why is there a lock on the ground over there? I should take a closer look. When I got in... 
The woman who found the body was already running out the other exit over there. So he came here around the same time we did. Why were you at the Grand Tower? Well, I had my reasons. He also said something along those lines when we met at the detention center. Maybe he's really a fan of giant monsters and came to sneak a peek at the Muzilla set? Giant monsters? I've no interest in such things. He clearly doesn't think the murderer is a monster either. It's regrettable what happened to the president. Yeah, Juan was the pride of Zane Fa, and yet... It seems like you were quite close to the president. The previous head of the Lane clan, my father, served under President Juan. Oh man, look at that mustache. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Protecting the life of the president has long been our clan's greatest duty. My old man received a great number of special medals from the president himself. As a token of his trust, the president left in his will in the left his will in the protection of the Lane clan. Woo! Those medals in that will, they were the pride of our clan. Our family treasure, so to speak. <laughs> Who would have thought the day would unseal that will? Would arrive so soon. So then, I guess the president was like a close family friend? Huh? But during the incident at Gord Lake. Why weren't you with the president, Mr. Lang? Well, a lot has changed. It all happened over 12 years ago. Back then, he and my old man were close friends, and our clan protected the president's life. But then he suddenly changed. It's as if he became an entirely different person. Nowadays, he doesn't even have a shred of faith in the police force of Zane Fa. Twelve years ago. I wonder what went on then. Even so, I still respect the man. Zane Fa is a small country, but he carried the nation with his strength. Damn it! Just what were his bodyguards doing? Have you already contacted the embassy? Yeah, of course. I've also informed Zane Fa and my clan as well. It's gotten pretty hectic there, what with the will and all. But it'll be the same here, once the bodyguards show up. The only two bodyguards left were the two twins. <laughs> if you don't want to see me rip into them, I suggest you get out of here soon. Mr. Prosecutor? Right now, I'm just a single Interpol agent. A literal lone wolf. They probably won't let me be in charge of the investigation. But you better believe my fangs are as sharp as ever. I'll definitely capture the culprit with my own hands. And you better not get in my way. Alright, alright, later, dude. In the body.